So, there is an exploit that you can use to generate infinite electricity with the Breaking Ground turboshaft engines. This is a newly discovered trick found by fellow KSP YouTuber Proxima, channel link in the description, and it has some pretty cool applications. It's a bit too exploity for me personally, but it's way too cool not to share, so without further ado, let's jump in and take a look. The Breaking Ground small and large turboshaft engines are unique in that they are the only parts other than jet engines and rocket engines that have alternators. The calculation for how much EC engines produce is pretty simple for rockets and jets. Divide the current thrust by the maximum vacuum thrust for rockets, or the maximum stationary thrust for jet engines, and then multiply by the alternator value. Since the turboshafts don't have thrust values, they have their own unique way of determining current alternator EC generation. They use the current RPM of the turboshaft head divided by the current RPM limit. The trick for infinite EC is absurdly simple at its core. If we set the RPM limit to zero, we get a divide by zero error, which due to the way floating point numbers work, doesn't actually throw an error, it just returns positive or negative infinity. In this case, positive infinity. This works even if you launch the craft with the turboshaft unmotorized and locked with an RPM limit set to zero in the VAB. Thus, for the low cost of 600 kilograms and one part, you basically get access to the infinite electricity cheat. But depending on how you squint at it, you can convince yourself of the totally legit nature of the exploit. It even works under time warp and, surprisingly, will provide power even when a ship is unloaded. So it can provide power in virtually any scenario. Where it especially shines is for powering fuel refineries, breaking ground propeller planes, and ion engines. Like I mentioned at the start, this is a trick I don't think I will ever personally use, and if I ever do decide to use it for a less serious mission, I will make it very clear that I am doing so. Still, it's a pretty cool little bug, and I'm sure folks can figure out all kinds of strange applications that I haven't even thought of. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.